The buy X get Y discount offers a lot more options for how you can structure your discount. So here's how to do that. So on this left hand side, we're going to click into discounts and then near the top right corner, we're going to hit create discount. In this video, I'm going to go over the buy X get Y. So discount products based on a customer's purchase. In this one, there is the discount code that needs to be entered by the customer at the checkout. And then there's the automatic discount code. To start, we will do a discount code that needs to be entered at checkout. So let's say we want to do buy three shirts, get one pattern free. Okay, when you come down here, you can do what the customer has to buy in order to get the free item. So buying, they either have to buy a minimum quantity of items or a minimum purchase amount. So this would be a, a minimum dollar amount. So I'll just show you the minimum purchase amount one first since that's not what I'm gonna do with this example. So you could say they have to spend, let's say $100 and you could do specific products or collections. You can select more than one in any of these. You know, I could select as many products as I want. Or with collections, multiple collections can be selected. I do have a video on creating collections if you need to create collections for this. Since I'm gonna do buy three shirts, get one pattern free, I'm gonna change this, that's just bothering me that I had one as a number and one as a word. I'm gonna do minimum quantity of items. So in my example, they need to buy three shirts. So they need to buy three of, it's gonna be a specific collection because I have a collection for apparel. So I'm gonna select this collection. And this is what the customer gets. It's saying the customer must add the quantity of the items specified below in their cart. So in this example, when they buy the three shirts, they'll get the one pattern free. This is saying they need to add that free item to their cart. So they would also need to add that pattern into their cart. And here you can do buy something, let's say a full price, get it half off. So you could do a percentage. You could do an amount off. So you could do a certain dollar amount. So you could do buy three patterns, get $3 off each pattern. And it's saying the discount amount will be taken off each Y item. So whatever you select here, if you select certain products or collections, this will take it off of each of those items added to their cart or you can do free so in this case i want to do buy three shirts get one pattern free so i'm going to select the free option and i'm going to put one for the quantity because i'm saying they're going to get one free pattern select products i'm actually going to select a collection because i have a collection of patterns i'm going to scroll down to cross stitch patterns i'm going to add that and then you can select to have a maximum number of uses per order. So right now with this not selected, for every three shirts they would buy, they would get one pattern free. Now I can put, you can only do that once. So they would only get one pattern free from this coupon. They can't have multiple free patterns. For customers eligibility, you can choose to have this apply to all customers. You can choose specific customer segments, or you can even choose very specific customers. Let's say you only want this going to one customer. You could select that customer. For this example, I'm just going to put where it'll apply to all customers and then maximum discount uses. So you can limit the number of times this discount can be used in total. So let's say you put this as a hundred. It could only be used a hundred times and then it will not work anymore. Those hundred times can be used by any of these people up here that you have selected or you could limit to one use per customer. In this case, if one customer used it with their specific email address, it would not be able to be used again. And you can actually select both of these. So if you select both of these, limit one use per customer and it can only be used 100 times. So 100 different customers could use this and then it could not be used anymore. I'm just gonna deselect these in this example and then combinations, I will go over this in a different video because it can get a little confusing. And then down here, you can have the start date and the end date. So let's say you want a coupon to only work one day. You may want to start this at the start of the day and end it at the end of the day. I'm not gonna have an end date for this. So I'm just gonna hit save discount. On this right hand side, it will give you a brief summary. So it's for the online store, buy three items of this apparel, get one free item and I have it one use per order. So they can only get one item for free. It will go to all customers, no usage limits, can't be combined with other discounts and active from today. Up here it pops if you want a shareable link. If you share this link and a customer clicks this link, then it will automatically apply at checkout for them. They will not need to enter your discount code. If you don't see this up top, you can find that same link in promote and then get a shareable link. I'm gonna select this discount code. And in my cart, I already have three shirts and a pattern. So I'm just gonna go and view cart. I have my three shirts and my pattern. 
On my cart page, there was nowhere to enter the discount code. Your theme maybe would be a little different. I think most of them just show the discount code area on checkout though. So at checkout, I'm gonna enter this discount code. And now it, since I have the three shirts, it is marking this pattern as free. So it's deducting the 1423. Now that I have showed a discount that you have to enter in at checkout, I'm gonna show you one of the automatic discount codes. So I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Okay, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna create an automatic discount code. So to create discount, I'm going to go into the buy X, get Y discount, and we're gonna do an automatic discount this time. So this is a discount that a customer would not need to enter at checkout, and it cannot be combined with anything unless you checkmark something down here that you will allow it to be combined with other discounts. And I do wanna say with this discount, it is hard to do, let's say you wanna do a discount where it was spend $100 on your total purchase, get all thread 50% off. I'm going to explain why a discount like this would be very difficult. So you could put the purchase amount of spend $100 on the collection. I have a collection of all. I'm going to select that. So this part's not the problem. The problem is get all thread 50% off since you need to select a very specific quantity of something. So you can't just put all the thread that they add would be discounted. Cause let's say you made this a hundred where you would discount hundred. This is saying they need to add this quantity of items to their cart. So this would force someone to have to add a hundred threads to their cart, which if it's free, I'm sure people wouldn't mind getting hundred for free, but if it's discounted or amount off, they might not want to get a hundred cause they'll get too expensive depending on what the discount is. So it's really hard just to make it all threads. You will need something specific here. And I'll just show you as an example. So let's say this is five and I'm gonna do collections of all threads. And let's say we do 50% off and I'm not gonna have it combined with anything. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go into my cart and here my subtotal is over a hundred but nothing is discounted here because I did not add five threads. So it won't even discount the number less than the five that I entered right here. So the customer would have to enter five or they will not get any of them discounted. So since I have four in my cart, if I change this to four and I save it and we go back, it has now discounted those four threads. Just keep that in mind when you're creating the discounts. If you wanted something to be all, that's really difficult to get that to work. So, so what you're gonna wanna do is pick a very specific quantity of the item that will be discounted for your discount. So spend 100, get, let's say five threads, 50% off. So then spend 100, I have minimum purchase amount is 100. Customer gets five of the threads, the collection of threads, 50% off. I could also do an amount off each. I could do, let's say 20 cents off each item, or I could do free. But for here, I'm just gonna put the threads 50% off. Again, I'm not gonna have it combined because I'm gonna go over that in a different video just so this one doesn't get too long. And here, I need to add one more thread. So I'm gonna go do that quickly. So I've added that fifth thread and this automatic discount is automatically applying and now they are discounted. I did not have to enter anything in this discount code section. And if I were to add one more thread, I'll do that quickly. If I add one more thread, so now I have six of them. I don't know why it split it up where the five went into a one and four, but it did. So now this one is discounted and these four discounted. So five of them are discounted. The sixth one is not discounted because in here, spend 100, you only get five discounted. And they need to add five of this item to their cart since I selected five here. And don't forget that you can add multiple collections in here for either of these. So I could have made it spend 100, get five threads or patterns 50% off. So I could add patterns. So you can make a bunch of different combinations. It is kind of a puzzle to get these discounts exactly how you want them. Just take your time to really think it through. Make sure you are making the discount that you want for your customers and then go add items to your cart and go test it before you go share the coupon code with your customers.